Hey, welcome back. I've gotten some more figures I wanted to share. First up, most excited. This is the figure I had already. Um, it's a Lando skiff guard. Um, he's a little bit banged up, balding on top, uh, no accessories or anything. So, accidentally won two auctions. <laughs> So let's see what we got here. These should both be complete versions. I'm just gonna cut the tape here and try to keep the bag in one place so I can reuse it later. I really like the way this seller packaged everything. Just put figures inside of a Ziploc bag. Let's see this first one here. Oh yeah, he's in decent shape. Hair's just starting to go. Some imperfections on the fingertips and boots on the paint. Back of his hand here too. Joints are all fairly stiff. Hmm. Head doesn't move at all. I neither did the old one really. Barely. Okay, and then right over here. Got a staff, which looks legit, like he said. It's got a little gunk on it. And helmet. Unpainted. Helmets are harder to tell. I'll have to do a little bit of research there. Okay, and this one's loose. Other accessories. Another helmet. I don't really have to look into these helmets. Another good looking staff. Oh yeah, this one's in great shape. Hair's perfect. Face looks good. Tiny little spot on the butt. Limbs are all good. This is the best looking one. He's a little sticky. But he appears more to be dirty than he's painted or something. But he's definitely sticky. So those guys beat out my old one here. So he'll go in the, my most recent sale pile, which is this group from my last video. He'll ship off with them. Really cool. All right, I'm gonna set him aside. Just little bits. What we got next here? All right, this one's pretty simple. I've been looking for, but is a ATAT -AT commander. There we go. No weapon. Oh no, I'm wrong. He does have his blaster. That's right. I gotta be careful here. Remembering what I bought. Oh yeah, that looks good. Great. Yeah, and he's in real good shape. One little nick on his boot. Otherwise, looks really good. Got a nice Blue blaster there. I don't know if it'll focus or not. There we go. Pretty cool. So put him down. Got another, not commander, but commando. There we go. 
That's the Rebel Commando. All right, what we got here? Yep. This rifle. Looks good. Good shape. And he looks pretty good too. See any odd marks right here on his leg? A little tiny one. One little smudge on his face. Otherwise, looks pretty good. This is the one I was most excited for, just because. I've wanted them for a while. I've never had one. Power of the Force 2 or 1. So this is a first for me, my first Morian Guard. Let's get him out of here. He's a little big for this baggie. There we go. Oh yeah. Great. One perfection on his eye and horns. Otherwise, looks pretty good. Legs both move and aren't loose. It's got some sandal scuffs. Otherwise, looks good. And we got his axe. from being held in his hand, scraped a little bit of the brown paint off of the handle. Here's another cool one I got at auction, which is Darth Vader. No saber, unfortunately. Came with a cool little stand. But that was to replace my existing Vader that I got from my cousin, who when he was a kid lost his saber, so like many kids, Painted a toothbrush or a toothpick to become his lightsaber, and in the process got model paint sort of all over him. Um, I might keep him just for sentimental value. I don't know that I would sell all that great with red paint all over him, so maybe I'll turn it into an art piece later. But for now, I've got a nice, new, good looking Vader with a clean cloak, clean body. Decent limbs. Yep, no lightsaber still, which is pretty common. So excited to have a nice clean Vader for the collection. And speaking of, this will be a hard one. So this is my existing Ugnaught. And this is my new one. And I bought him because he had his little briefcase satchel. And it was the same price to get these two together as it, or less even than it was to get this by itself. Uh, so that completes him, but now I've got the dilemma of which do I keep? Mine, of course, has a sentimental value, but is definitely dirtier. This one's skin looks better, and its face sculpt even looks a bit crisper, less worn. Paint on the hands is less worn. This has got some little bit of red paint on it from the Darth Vader, I think. The only problem with this new one is the back of his hair here has gotten scuffed and the skin color is coming through. But I just like his color so much more. He's uh, more dark and bold, where this one looks a little bit more uh, sun faded, I think. I don't know how easy that is to tell that they're different. You can see this one's definitely lighter. And skin tone. So I'll have to make up my mind about that. Next one here. This is going to be an Ewok because I can't see him. It means he's a little too short. I mix up my Ewok names, but I think this is a little quay. Let's see here. Actually, it's going to be. Um, oh, let's 
accessories. So we got the helmet's a little melty, but not bad. Go ahead and put his horn on him. There we go. There we got horn. Staff. And helmet. Boom. Look at him. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. This will be great. My uh, Ewok collection to date. Is not swell. This is all. This is all I'm working with here so far. So I think my cousin gave me at least these two. I can't remember if he gave me this one or if I found it, but I know this one was found by one of us. Um, so no accessories except for the hood here. So eventually, I'd like to get all of these replaced and get some more Ewok buds to go with them. Yee yee. This is It's actually one of my least favorite. My roommate used to have them. Wasn't a big fan. You know, something about the hands just throws me off. But he's cool. It's a cool alien. I like his head. Glad to have him now in my collection. This one looks like he's in pretty good shape. I don't believe he came with anything though. Once again, I'm wrong. I forgot how many complete items I got. There he is with this crazy staff gun. Don't even know. There we go. Boom. That's a cool, that's a cool weapon. I didn't even notice that. Pretty rad. Pretty rad. Uh, these last two I'm also excited about because bit harder to get in this condition and now I'm only missing one so first up it's nice noodles we're out of here hey baby got her skirt headpiece is still on legs are slightly wonky not bad she'll stand eventually there we go yep she'll stand and I got her microphone ready to go. While I got her here, let's bring over the big boy. Boom. Got us a Max Rebo. Oh, gotta find the ends. Here we go. Maybe. There it is. They really packed this one. Go into the knife, but I gotta be careful here because. Figures just inside there. There we go. Don't want to break anything. This is one of the lesser pack jobs. Okay. Here he is. Emerged from the egg. Wow, we looking smooth, bud. Head's a little dirty. Might have to take some soap and water to him. And there he is. Keys are all in good shape. Tim, old Max Rebo. All right, so he'll be perfect with Snai. And that's it for this round. I'm gonna do my best not to order too many more uh, too soon here, because I want a little off the off off the rails here so you probably see with my latest eBay purchase uh, got, got quite a few here um, got some good deals I'll uh, I'll go back and try to add some prices or something for anyone that's interested maybe let me know in the comments if you are or if you're even watching this uh, oh yeah I almost forgot I've got two more bonus figures I picked up for, from a local place 
it's usually a little overpriced, but I actually went and did some researching and got a good deal on original Han with blaster with just a few little spec marks, small head Han. And very exciting, my very first R2, the first R2, I believe, you know, with the hollow center. Very excited to have these two. Other thing I got a pretty good price on.